Hello, and welcome to Add-On Assistant. My name is Pickles, and I will be your guide today through the many add-ons of World of Warcraft. Today we're going to be talking about Bartender. Bartender is an add-on specifically used for your action bars. To demonstrate how Bartender works and how to set up the bars properly, I have fired up one of my old characters that I haven't used in a long time. Here's my rogue, and as we can see, my action bars are stuck right in the middle of my screen here, and I normally have them set up down here at the bottom of my action bar area. So to start off, we're just going to type in slash bartender, and that will pull up our window. This window has all of our bars, plus a few extra goodies that we'll get into here in just a little bit. To start off, let's take a look at what some of these options can allow us to do. If we look over here at Alpha, and I'm in bar one, Alpha is going to determine the transparency of our bar. So if I reduce this down, my bar will start to disappear. And if I go back up, it will come back. Scale. Scale will scale the bar. Pretty self-explanatory. I can make it bigger, or I can make it shrink to pretty much non-existence. Padding is the distance between each icon. So I can shrink them down and have them practically on top of one another, or I can go the other way and have them very spread out. The button slider will determine how many buttons you actually want on the action bar. You can crop down your action bar. The rows will determine the position of your action bar. You can adjust them to be a box, to be a rectangle, or to be vertical or horizontal. These vertical growth and horizontal growth down near the bottom will determine which way these rows will go. We can go up instead of down, so it will actually grow up instead of the opposite direction, or horizontally it will do left instead of right. Again, very self-explanatory. So I want to be able to fit all of these bars down in this bottom screen, so it's obvious that their current position just won't work. So first thing I want to do is unlock all the bars so that I have the ability to move them around. So when I checked off this lock button, I'm now able to move my bars as I please. And it also shows you where some of my other things were. And it also shows you some bars that I'm not currently using, which are invisible, until I decide to start moving my buttons around. So here in bar one, I have a lot of my main abilities that I want to use, and I want to get it to look in this position. So the first thing I want to do is try to get my rows set up. So I'm gonna go over here to rows, and I'm just gonna kind of tighten them up a little bit. And that looks pretty good to me. I also want to make sure that my padding isn't too far spread out. So I'm going to shrink them in there a little bit. That looks good. And my buttons, I'm probably going to add some buttons down there. So I'm just going to leave them at 12. And my scaling may be a little bit too big. I'll bring that down here. It seems like they're going to be taking up a lot of space. So I'm going to scale them down just a little bit. And you can see here there's a, a box that you can actually type in. So I'm going to try a point eight, see what that does for me. That's a pretty good size, I like that. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with my bar two. It seems that I have this bar three and bar four, I had a few buttons on them, but I can just move them onto my other two. I'm gonna try to just use two rows. So again, we're just gonna scale them down a little bit. It's at 0.7, let's turn that to 0.8. Adjust my rows. That looks good. Let's bring that down here. And padding looks pretty good. Now you can see that I have a little bit of difference between one and two. One's bigger than the other. It's going to flip back and forth here and see what the difference is. Ah. This one is actually one more. And so is this. There we go. 
Ah, eh, close enough. So, now we have this bar 3 and bar 4. And while your bartender bars are unlocked, you're not able to pull the buttons and move them. So, just to kind of clear that up real quick, I'm going to lock it. And then just move my buttons. There we go. Now, in the event that I'm in the middle of combat and, and I forgot to lock my buttons down, on my button lock feature here, and I go to click on one of my icons, because I like to click my buttons, and I accidentally pull up, and now I got all this stuff in the way. I need to get rid of these, because they're just going to cause all kinds of chaos in the heat of battle. So what I'm going to do is unlock my buttons, or unlock my bars again, sorry, and I have bar 3, bar 4, bar 5, and bar 6 are all just kind of hanging out. Now I could just move them away or maybe turn their alpha down so they're non-existent. Wrong bar. So they're non-existent. But just to make things easy, right here is an enabled clicker there. A little check box. So let's go ahead and check that off. Now it's gone. We do the same thing for 4, 4, 5, and 4, 6. In the event that you need more buttons or you are changing specs and you might need just one bar for potions and you want to make it really big, uh, you can just enable them back and do as you please with them. So that's just the basic general for how to use your basic bars. So we're going to move on to some of the more special bars. You have your bag bar here, which you can make it one bag. I have one bag here and actually my bag is kind of floating around. You can turn that off and it'll show all of your bags. But one bag you can just lock and click on that and it opens up so your one gigantic bag. But let's take a look. We can put our key ring on there. And as of Cataclysm, I'm not sure what a key ring will be useful for, so I keep that turned off. Uh, but the same thing applies. We can turn it so it's transparent or that you can see it. You can scale it, make it really big if you have problems finding your backpack or if you can't hit your B key on your keyboard. But I'm just going to kind of float that somewhere nearby. Take care of that later. Now my pet bar is just kind of floating out here in the middle. And as a rogue, I really don't need a pet. But there are opportunities in some quests and dealing in some events that you will have a pet bar. So it would be a pretty bad idea to just turn that off. So I want to go to pet bar. And I want to kind of put it somewhere that it's usable where I won't have to think too hard in the event that it just pops up to me and I need to be able to use it. So I'm going to move my bar, the two bars over here, move them out of the way. And let's adjust the rows, have it more vertical, pull this down. That looks pretty, oh, oh. The one thing about Bartender is it tends to stick to its other, its other friends here. So as you kind of move around, it tends to just kind of stick to everything. So you have to be careful about that. Sometimes it's really useful. Other times it can just be a, a real pain in the butt. My vehicle bar, it's very good in PvP or in some events, especially in Ulduar. Um, I don't really have much use for them, so I'm just going to kind of drag it over here. It'll kind of go into non-existence. My stance bar, I'm going to set that right on top here so I have it right next to my abilities. And you can adjust the same thing if you're a DK or a Paladin or a Warrior. You can adjust your stance, you can shrink it down a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. Your reputation bar, I have it disabled, but you can enable it and there it is, just kind of hanging out. I actually use another mod which has my reputation in there already, so I don't need that. You can have your Blizzard art bar on. You might actually have that on when you initially download this add-on and that just has that little graphic so I have that turned off as well and an XP bar again I have another mod that takes care of that for me but if you enable that it will be there as well you can move that wherever you need it the micro menu bar I have up here at my top left hand corner I'm just gonna leave it there for now but it's all basically the same same type of customization that you can do and that is the basics for Bartender. I thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for more add-on videos in the future. And if you have 
any add-ons that you would like to see in this series, please leave a comment and I will take it into consideration.